you thought I was done. So guys, I've been trying to brainstorm all day as to how I could sleep warmer in this hammock and I think I might have come up with a couple of ideas. So idea one, if you can see behind me, I've got the uh, Recharge XL sleeping pad. Where does it say Recharge? I think it's under me. Anyway, um, I pumped that up and I stuck it in the hammock and I didn't think it would work. I didn't think it would fit, but it's kind of working, which is super exciting. And in fact, just laying here, I feel warm on it. I'm not sure if it'll work well as I, you know, lean back, get comfortable um, with the hammock itself because I kind of feel like I'm going to fall off. It's a little bit, it's slightly unstable, but it's, it's not bad. I mean, it's kind of like being in a, in a boat almost. Then I got another option. Woo! So I almost fall off. Okay, here, hold on. The other option that I'm thinking of here is this. It's my SOL, which is Survive Outdoors Longer um, Escape Bivy. This is the breathable bivy, so it doesn't get all of the condensation. I actually have uh, shown this on a video once before, over, I think over a year ago. But uh, I stuffed this thing inside my sleeping bag. I roll it out. I've used it several times, as you can kind of see. It's worn down, but it's reusable. Um, I've owned it for a good year and a half, two years, something like that and uh, it's still working. And if you stuff that in your sleeping pad, it provides that re heat reflection, which can really help you stay warm. So if the pad doesn't work itself in the hammock, just because of the shape of the hammock, then I will try this out. Um, either way, I'll see what works tonight and I'll let you know in the morning. Day two. Good morning. So I tried sleeping on the pad last night in the hammock and it made it too unstable. So that the thing with a hammock is when you're using it and your legs kind of go up, it's a little uncomfortable if it's all night long because you can't really make yourself go diagonally if, uh, if you've got a pad in the middle of it. So I took the pad out and I used this, the uh, emergency bivy, and it worked pretty good. It was a lot warmer than it was the night before. I was still cold, but a lot warmer. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm the Dollar Sportsman, I think. I've come to the conclusion that to stay warm in a hammock at night, you really need another quilt. <laughs> so, I'm going to work on getting one of those and uh, go from there. So, when hammock camping, if you don't have an underquilt, get yourself an emergency bivy, stick it in your sleeping bag, and uh, put a blanket under you. That'll be the best option that you've got. Um, it'll keep you pretty, pretty warm. It'll be alright. So, if you can get an underquilt though, go with an underquilt totally worth it. I will see you guys next week and uh, keep watching. Got some shotguns, a couple of buddies, and it's going to be a great day. I've got Tannerite. Oh, that should be fun. Comes open real easy. I'm the Dollar Sportsman. I'm the Dollar Sportsman. I'm the Dollar Sportsman. Thank you for joining us today. You can get a lot of good stuff from this.